With so many of us the last few months being all about buy more, spend more, amid plenty of sales and countless deals and discounts, it's really easy to get so carried along that for the ride that we forget grabbing a bargain is the name of the game here, with all too many discounts amid sales not even really being discounts at all. However, there's some real game-changing shopping hacks here that can save you more than a pretty penny. I'm Liam from Hot UK Deals and we are all about empowering the consumer, that's you, so that we're all able to make better shopping decisions and to save a fat wad of cash at the same time. Let's go. First of all, there's tons of tips here that are absolutely essential, so make sure you watch all of them so you're going to save as much money as possible. Our first tip here is one that we often think of at markets, but rarely in terms of online shopping. But it's actually sometimes really, really possible to haggle via online live chat. If you spot a window offering live chat, then this can often be an easy route to secret deals, provided that you haggle. There's been reports of even people snagging a whopping 300 quid off of a £1,200 Dell laptop off via this method. It's always going to be a bit of a mixed bag, but it's always absolutely worth the shot. People have grabbed 10% off codes, 50 quid off laptops, extra £10 off here and there, and loads more. Even if the discounts aren't new, then it can actually make you aware of discounts that already exist or make sure that you're eligible for existing discounts. If you've actually managed to pick up a bargain via this method, then make sure that you let us know in the comments below. Our second tip here is to know your pricing codes and what they mean. We've already done a little YouTube short on how to pick this up over at TK Maxx. Make sure you watch that in the above link, but there's always a system for discounts on products, even at different shops. Many large electrical shops, in fact, will use specific secret price codes to secretly communicate to staff which models need to be shifted quickly before the new stock comes. Often, according to staff and people with insider knowledge, these will often be the last digit. Most prices end in either 9 or 0, but if one ends in either 7 or 8, e.g. with £24.98 or similar, this usually means the model is clearance, and the same goes for either a 1 or a 4. Reports have ascertained that 7 in particular usually mean there's only the display one left. This, of course, also means that you have a great leg to stand upon now in terms of haggling. And this can also benefit both you and the staff member, as staff sometimes earn higher commission on end-of-line stock. This also means that you can watch out when you're being redirected towards an end-of-the-line or otherwise out-of-date stock. If you're still with us this far, then you're in for a treat, as our third tip is a biggie. Our third tip is to abandon your shopping baskets online to get discount codes. Many shops will actually send you codes to tempt you back to a purchase when you leave an online order halfway through. There's no guarantees with this, needless to say, but if you're not in a hurry, then why not give it a shot? Just all you have to do is sign up for an account, pop what you want in your basket, higher value does work best seemingly, and then you leave the site and you check your email account over the next few days. Obviously, it's hard to tell which shops it actually works at, but there's been reports to Hot UK deals about ASOS, Hamleys, Curry's, Boo Avenue, Harvey Nichols, H&M, Moonpig, New Look, River Island, The Perfume Shop, Urban Outfitters, Wayfair, WH Smith, Zalando, Monsoon, Dunelm, Buy a Gift, Boohoo, Not on the High Street, and so many more companies. And these are all offering up to 50% off discount codes. Really, retailers, meanwhile, such as Asda, Tesco, Shark, Waitrose, Virgin Media, Lloyds, and Evans have also been known to give codes of between 10 pounds and 150 quid off to many people. While others, such as Dorothy Perkins, Furniture Village, and JD Sports regularly give free delivery. Often this can be tied to use of a particular loyalty scheme, in particular M&S with the recent Sparks loyalty scheme or Boots with their Advantage cards. Others have found success by favoriting specific items, such as with Adidas as well as eBay and Etsy, who will often and send offers to buyers who are watching items. We've actually already partially covered this point in our video on how to save money over at Amazon, but this is a super useful tip. You can actually trick Amazon into giving you free delivery. Amazon usually only offers free delivery on its goods, not those from third-party marketplace sellers, and you have to spend at least either 20 quid or 10 pounds of books. Standard delivery can be pricey, going all the way up to 4 99 but there's a great website actually called Super Saver Delivery that will actually scare Amazon to fill our items. As an example, let's say we're buying a 19 99 pair of headphones. That means we're missing out on the 20 quid, and as a result, we're sat paying 5 pounds or 4 pound 99 on delivery for a 24 pound 98 total. However, if we add a little 55p car air freshener, we're paying only 20 pound 54, and we're getting a cute little air freshener to boot. Easy. This is a similar point to a previous one, but many shops will actually give you at least 10% off when you ask. Just haggle for a discount, pretty much. Many people feel wrong when they ask for a discount, and there's definitely a climate of being embarrassed for saving money. But this is often understood and supported by store policy, with many employees reporting being told to hand out 10% discount to anyone asking. A recent story by Money Saving Expert actually detailed that there was a 50% success rate with this in managing to secure a better deal, with B&Q, Homebase, and Tesco all being among those that are the most likely to hand over 
over a discount. Even at John Lewis, seen by many as a bastion of traditional English department stores, nearly half of people found that they were offered a discount. Another tip here is to look for the best day to buy deals for a shop. If you find something you want, but you can't find a discount code, then it's often worth checking back at certain points in the week. The most popular day for discounts is actually Wednesday, followed then by Tuesday, with over 50% of discounts happening on these two days. Monday is in third. I mean, this does actually make sense, meaning that shops then have plenty of time to get ready for the weekend. Needless to say, however, tons of deals happen every day of the week, so making sure that you sign up for a Hot UK Deals account where thousands of deals are submitted every day, as well as by subscribing to our YouTube channel here, this is one of the best things you can do for grabbing a bargain. There's also certain times during the day when grabbing a so-called yellow sticker bargain in supermarkets is most likely. We in fact made an entire video on how you can bag these, so make sure that you give that a look for more advice. Okay, our last one is a bit of a stretch here, and it only really works if you either travel a lot or you can otherwise afford a holiday, but you can bag a bargain when shopping abroad. Many companies actually offer different prices according to the general prices of the country in question and the purchasing power of the population there. It's one reason why you can grab bargain prices in places like Poland and Eastern Europe, as well as countries in the Med. It can also be true for companies in their home countries. The Spanish fashion brand Zara is one brand that's particularly famous for selling clothes much, much cheaper in Spain than here. And their Spanish site even has an English language option. Clothes are an average 38% cheaper than in the UK, and there can be a massive difference, with the difference in question meaning that a £50 jacket here could be in the 30s in Spain. The difference is even more marked in pricier items. There's so many shopping hacks like these that can even seem small, but can all add up to massive differences, especially when used in combination. We couldn't include them all here, even if we wanted to, and that also means that we get to make more videos, but we're always up for hearing of the various shopping hacks that you use to save money. Don't forget, as always, to leave your tried and tested saving techniques in the comments below, as well as if you managed to make use of any of these tips. And certainly don't forget to like this video and subscribe to us here on YouTube if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching from Hot UK Deals.